Okay. I'm back. I'm gonna go in and put it on the other phone that's in the cassette adapter. Kind of slide them up <coughs> so I can show Sardu. That's what I've wanted to do. I really kind of sh I should have. Uh, let's see if I can do that now. Oh, not right now. Okay, yeah. So saying it's latest definitions are nine two. Last update received nine three. Let's see if there's anything else to update. And okay, so I guess I'm done with that. Got to make sure the program doesn't have an update. Oh, yeah, there is a new one. I thought there should be. So that means I'll end up having to reboot the computer, though. So, but I don't want to fool around with any, uh, any of these files, any of these, anything on here until I even plug it in there. I don't think there's anything bad on this SD card, but, but, uh, I don't want to plug it in there, uh, during, with XP running without... without updating first. I wonder if you can see that. Looks like it's just too, with all that bright stuff in the background, it just won't show up. So, um, <coughs> I think instead of just sitting here with on the video, that may take, could take one minute, could take five or ten minutes. But while I'm, I'm probably going to shut the video down, but let's go ahead and uh, right click on the desktop, look at my properties for my, I uh, can't stand it when there's all this stuff in the way when I'm trying to do something. It won't go down either. That's why I use multiple desktops in my Linux system. Okay. Uh, setting yeah here we go it's on 1280 by 768 let's see multiple monitors okay you should be able to say clone maybe it won't do it extend my windows desktop on this monitor yeah but I, I, I've got that but I want to clone I think it'll do it in XP. Let's see. This has got the ATI driver on it. Okay. Okay, turn where it's kind of hard for me to read too, so that I could get the camera up on it. Let's go to monitor two and hit advance, see if anything looks any different in there. It's two default monitor. Displays, there we go. Okay. Uh, it also has a nice video output, and I've used it at times. You can see which one's the main <coughs> one and two. <coughs> Should be able to. Yeah, you don't want to. I don't want to get it. It gets it messed up when you. If you leave it wrong, you boot up. You have a blank screen. Okay.
Okay. I remember there being either a problem or just flat not able to do it. Maybe just hidden somewhere. And this up here is not highlighted, and that tells me I'm not able to do everything I want to do. That one's showing 75 hertz. Really, I think 60 hertz is just fine for the flat panel monitor. Okay, uh, I always haven't seen this in a while. Oh, now it's not responding. Okay, it came back. Clean save desktop and settings. Take extend out, what will happen? Just made it go away. Now two doesn't have anything on it. So I don't know, I'm not gonna go nuts trying to do it. It can't, so maybe it was missing. Yeah, look there still way down in the beginning there so I'm gonna get off of here stop the video come back when that's finished can't really I don't really wanna uh, avoid updating this you know that's important since I've had some especially since I've had so many virus problems but <coughs> so but this is uh, all I've got left this XP system that can run Sardu uh, that might I think I should be able. I think I might have done this. So I had a problem before, and I'm able to fix it just by um, fix the uh, oh boot your Sardu boot whatever it is. This is the uh, S USB adapter. It's the USB stick or whatever. One of these, you know. Uh, you can fix the boot on them by just uh, putting them back in there and making a change, you know, take something out, add something. I wanted to add another Fedora distro anyway, so uh, we'll just come back later. All right, it's done.